Welcome to another spirit-filled message on Christocentric message. If you're new to this channel, I would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video. As well, I would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth, it's going to bless you. Your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then God is going to visit your home. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed. God's wonder-working power. I'm glad this is a prayer conference that as wonderful as God is, God's wonder-working power is made manifest when we call upon him. God's wonder-working power is not made manifest when we need it. It is made manifest when we call upon him. Now, this is as simple as this point is. It is why many believers may remain disappointed in spite of every truth that we have learned. You see, one thing with the truth is the Bible says, and you shall know the truth. And if it is truth you have found, there must be the corresponding liberty. That means whatever you find that claims to be the truth and cannot administer liberty is not the truth. Hallelujah. Let me repeat it again for emphasis. God's wonder-working power is made manifest when we call on him. Watch this. Jesus is passing Jericho. And theologically speaking, that would be the last time Jesus is patching Jericho. And then a man who was born blind, is that in your Bible? That man sat there and Jesus was passing as if he did not see him. And the man began to shout, Thou son of David, have mercy on me. And the people there said, keep quiet, don't distract Jesus. There are serious things for him to do. He says, I, I use my will to make my matter serious. The Bible says he shouted the more. Thou son of David, have mercy on me. And when that happened, Jesus hushed and said, What should I do for you? Can, that would look like sarcasm. I mean, what would a blind man want? It would be a costly assumption to assume that a blind man would want his eyes open. Because in Acts chapter 3, the crippled man at Gate Beautiful did not want healing. He wanted money. Is that true? Yes. The Bible says he sat there begging for arms. An ugly situation sitting at a beautiful gate. And he was asking for arms. And then... Peter looked at him and said, no, you need more than arms. He said, silver and gold I do not have, but such as I have, give I unto you. He says, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. The man was disappointed. Read your Bible. He, he sat down there. He didn't stand up. It was Peter who reached his hand and lifted him. And the Bible says, the man leaping stood. Hallelujah. Are we together? This is a very very powerful point because there are many believers who do not know that the wonder working power of god is made manifest when we call upon him so there are a lot of complaints and lamentations and assumptions god is it that you are watching me like this you are not going to do anything this is how you watch me i assure you while i sympathize with that lamentation by the integrity of scripture nothing will happen or another consolation we have in our world one day go better oh no the assignment of time is not to change things the assignment of time is to reveal it takes decisions decisions that are intrinsically made or outsourced you have to be able to stamp your feet and say this is the moment hallelujah like someone who has come tonight you can say this is the moment that demonic sickness must leave my body being fine today and down next week i reject it and by the way may i respectfully advise never receive old age as a license for sickness never receive old age as a license for bodily degeneration it is not in the bible hallelujah whilst it is true that based on our natural law 
as we age of course you may not have the strength and the vitality of a baby but it is important to know that you can enjoy the requisite level of vitality required to serve the purposes of god until your time is over never receive that if you have received this as an orientation now i respect doctors i respect medical people thank god for your contribution but i'm talking to you based on the integrity of scripture here's what the bible says that they that be planted in the house of the lord shall flourish in the courts of our god are we bible students it says in old age they shall be fat and flourishing there are many trees there are many trees on earth that are older than humans and those trees don't plan to go anywhere you see them flourish and refuse to die hallelujah aware that they might be drought they still refuse to die they made sure that their roots went down down enough and here's what the bible says he shall be like a tree that is planted by the streams of water you know what that means you don't have to wait for seasons again a tree that is not planted by water will have to wait for any season but a tree that is planted by the streams of water it is only its fruits that it brings in season not its survival hallelujah the wonder working power of god is made manifest when we call upon him let's look at a few scriptures jeremiah chapter 33 and verse 3 hallelujah jeremiah 33 and verse 3 call unto me the mighty one is saying and i will answer thee and i will show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not call unto me he says and i will answer you that means when there is no call there will not be any response call and i will respond call and i will respond call concerning the health situation i will respond call concerning the job situation i will respond psalms 145 and verse 18 psalms 145 and verse 18 i love the bible the lord is nigh unto all them that call upon him did you see the word all there he's nigh not to men of god that call upon him he is nigh not to preachers, not to apostles, not to prophets. He is nigh unto all, all them that call upon him. All them that call upon him. And he says to all that call upon him in truth. That means there are people who call upon him but don't mean it. They are just saying it so that it will look like they are not idol worshippers. But they don't intend to see him manifest. Jesus, where are you? Jesus, come. And he says, no, you are playing games. You are not serious. It is clear from your heart that you have other alternatives. But there are people who call upon him in truth. Have mercy upon me, thou son of David. I have no other God. Some may trust in horses and chariots. I do not even have that luxury. There is no horse and there's no chariot anywhere. If you do not help me, say unto thee, O God, do I lift up my soul? It says, O my God, let me not be ashamed. Is that in your Bible? It says, let not my enemies triumph over me. There is a way you can call upon him in truth. Call upon him in truth. Lord, I have done my best to teach my child the way of the Lord. But now that he's become a teenager, in an attempt to help him to receive superior education, he's delving into a practice that is antichrist. I have done my best as a faithful parent, but I know I am limited. This is your child. I call upon you. Arise, O great one, and help this child to not become a casualty. Let this child not become a reason for people to think serving God uh, does not pay and god will, one day your child will be roaming around anywhere in the world and mama's prayer has ascended to the throne and the mighty god will arrest him a small program will be happening somewhere and he'll just feel like strolling in usually that's how it is and while he stands there the rest becomes history and he calls you one morning and says mommy and you say my son where are you now he says you can't believe it you just guess where i am said don't tell me you are with the police <laughs> and he says not anymore Saul has become Paul 
not anymore and the child will start asking you did you read your bible today mommy and you say i was busy and say mommy you are backsliding already i need to be the new preacher supervising your consistency you believe that shout amen, amen. even if not for yourself shout for somebody amen. hallelujah the manifest power of god only happens at the instance of our prayer Paul was teaching about salvation in Romans chapter 10 and when he got to verse 13 Romans 10 13 he says whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord whosoever that blessing and that privilege is for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord Whilst you are listening, I want you to prepare your heart because tonight we are going to do some prayers. There are some, we are going to call upon the name of the Lord over certain issues. The Bible says, ye have not because ye ask not. The everlasting father is ever willing to give, ever willing to give, but it is to them that ask. Matthew 7, 7, he says, ask and you shall receive. He said seek and you shall find then it says knock and it shall be open unto you verse 8 says for everyone i like scripture for everyone that asketh receiveth he that seeketh findeth and the bible says to him that knocketh it shall be open how it will be open leave that to god he says just as you do not know how bones are formed in the womb of her who is with child not the way of the wind that is how you do not know the works of the works of god how god would do it leave that to his intelligence he can use anybody including pharaoh to bless you Are we together most times when we say God is going to bless people as we say amen our eye already goes to someone and we tie somebody in our mind that is almost witchcraft and in while we are saying amen you mean amen through that person and you will never let God rest Lord this man is rich what is it about one million and God says no leave that to my intelligence I want to take praise out of this so he can use somebody who vowed that under his watch he will not rise like Abimelech and he gets up and says I had a dream in the night what is this about you that has even made God to come and threaten me take gold take silver you can go this God bar you believe what I'm saying Sometimes when we hear these things in church, we just think it's a nice message prepared by a preacher to excite people. Believe me with all humility, I'm not one of those people. I don't teach what I don't believe. You can taste and see that the Lord is good. You can taste and see. I join you tonight in your anger over that situation because it must leave you once and for all. In the name of Jesus Christ, it must leave you once and for all. There are families that have a signboard written on them, Ikabod. People say, once upon a time, we looked up to these people. Once upon a time, no. That statement of once upon a time, we cancel it here. Please shout a loud amen. Because the Bible says, the path of the just. Are you a believer? The path of the just is as a shining light. It says it shines brighter and brighter. That means I should never have a worse yesterday. No. A better, a better yesterday I meant to say. Never. It should never be. And anything that is making your yesterday better than today. I curse that spirit in the name of Jesus. I curse that spirit in the name of Jesus. I curse that spirit in the name of Jesus. Please sit down. This is a strange occurrence of darkness that happens in Africa. You see vibrant people who serve God and after 10, 20 years, one day you will see them somewhere and you are almost running away. Good afternoon, daddy. And you are tempted to say, what happened? You lived in Europe for 10 years. You lived in America for 15 years. Two of your children were professors. What is this? Last we knew, your life was an example that inspired us. 
and there are wicked spirits that pick people from the throne and take them back to the village in the grave and you see them say, they will tell you they will show you photos snapping with presidents with their wives and children in the name of jesus i'm saying it again god sent me here tonight anything programming failure on your future i stand by the god of heaven who helps men i cast that spirit in the name of jesus listen up our world is full of people who were great inspirations yesterday and today there is absolutely nothing now i believe in seasons but i also believe that a man can be relevant for as long as you are in the epicenter of god's program listen there are things you need to start giving yourself a new orientation about do not believe them no no it says as your days are so shall your strength be 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 apostle you know after covid <laughs> i don't want to tell you what happened to my business but from covid till now we've been going down i sympathize with you i agree with you but do you not know written in your scripture that the axe head can float and return back again is it not in your bible please help me let's become believers tonight except we are just saying okay god well we, we hope we trust you <clears throat> there is a condition upon which an axe head can float back again that is the assignment of the prophetic the prophet said by this time tomorrow that shame and that reproach would have left you he was not just speaking to an individual he was speaking over the entire samaria hallelujah and we live in a world today where people can be so bold to say a lot of things someone looks at you and beats his chest and says, over my dead body and tell him it's a risk reverse that statement you have taken a risk that you cannot afford to pay for over your dead body <laughs> he suffered no man to do them wrong yea he reproved kings for their sake saying touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm the anointed is not just a man of god the anointed is everyone who is grafted into christ by his spirit because you have an anointing within you is that not what the bible says yes listen these are the systems that make us to walk in victory so when the bible says now thanks be to god which causes us always to triumph is at the instance of this revelation you see that everything i tell you i show you a scripture that backs it there are many christians who have superstitious faith that means faith that is not founded on the word faith that is founded on empty confidence god forbid i won't die based on what and we have all kinds of cultural things my blood is white is not black no all those kinds of none of those things has power in the realm of the spirit it is only the word of god to believe that there is something unique about your blood that witches and witches will leave you in peace it's a joke even to jesus they came satan cometh to me what immunes you builds a garrison around you is the word of god are we together now what is the basis of your longevity if i ask you i shall not die but live and declare the works of the lord number one number two i said before you life and death i said before you blessing and cursing he said choose life you choose life by verbalizing it and by walking in keeping with the principles that are pro-life number three honor your father and your mother in the lord is that in your bible that your days may be long and that it shall be well with you you don't want to live long when it's not well with you imagine a 90 year old man who started suffering from 12. that is a long time of suffering the longest we've seen in the bible is 38 years it shouldn't exceed more than that and after 38 years jesus came and said no stand up walk go and that was it every long-standing issue here 
that looks like it will be the year keeps coming and going and that issue does not change in the name of jesus christ long-standing issues must answer to the name of jesus 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 please sit down the amen you are shouting and the prophetic words you are receiving are not empty if god opens your your eyes in the spirit it will be as though you are holding a basket and every of these things there are investments you are making there i want you to believe that don't just think you are saying amen and then at the end of it you will believe that all you are taking back home is the bible you brought no no you are taking a lot more that you did not come with and the situations and circumstances around your life will attest to the fact that you are no longer alone listen he said destroy it not for there is a blessing upon it are we together i want us to pray so let me give us one more scripture if it is true that god's wonder working power by the way let me i just feel in my spirit to do a recap of everything i've said so please do listen in case you are just connecting number one we started by saying that god three important points that built our discussion tonight we're discussing on the wonder working god that number one it's a fact and it's something you must believe that all power belongs to god that means god is the all powerful god he's called el shaddai the multi-breasted one el shaddai number two that god desires as powerful as he is he desires for his power and his glory to be revealed in the midst of his people this should give you confidence because you see sometimes when we approach god we approach him as if there's a laxity on his part to reach you and it's by your prayer and your cry when you know that i am more than willing to bless you it gives you the confidence to approach me am i right on that that was the information the prodigal son knew about his father he knew that his father would be ever willing to receive him back and it gave him the energy to come to himself he said i will arise and i will go to my father i know my father will not reject me so you are not the only one who wants to see the power of god manifest in your life god himself is glorified when his power is revealed in your life amen and then number three which is where the instruction for tonight comes from that God's wonder working power is made manifest when we call upon him when we call upon him not when we want him to be there not when we assume he is there when we call upon him and there are two biblical ways to call upon the Lord never forget this there are two biblical ways to call upon the Lord number one heartfelt prayer number two perfected praise heartfelt prayer heartfelt prayer hearts shabakato siata heartfelt prayer heartfelt prayer ye have not because ye ask not he says ask and you shall receive that your joy might be full let me show you something mark chapter 11 please give us verse 24 mark 11 24 that there are two dimensions to calling upon god calling upon his mighty power and his outstretched arm therefore i say unto you is that in your bible what things soever ye desire please help me when ye pray believe that thou receivest them and thou shalt have them once you have not prayed and you just believe arbitrarily god loves me too much to leave me suffering like this you are right but that is not the modus operandi of the kingdom i hope you realize that god himself submits to his word the bible says he has exalted his word even above his name his reputation so there are no sentiments in dealing with god even jesus himself when he brought himself low and became the son of god he had to call upon god for every time he desired to see his manifest power for instance in john chapter 11 the resurrection of lazarus 
Jesus himself they rolled away the stone and he said my father I thank you because you always hear me he acknowledged the government before him and with that authority that he so vocally expressed I can of my own do nothing by that power he said Lazarus come forth and he that was bound came forth and said lose him and let him go are we learning we call upon him in prayer the Bible says I will call upon the Lord who is worthy of praise then it says so shall I be saved the combination of prayer and praise most believers know prayer but we do not know praise praise has nothing to do with whether you can sing or whether you can dance if you are ashamed do it in your room but by all means prayer and praise are mysterious weapons that seem to attract the might of God my Bible says he inhabits the praises of his people are we together what does it mean to praise God to praise God means to acknowledge him as touching his might and his power whether it's through a dance whether it's through singing the most important component of praise is not your dance you can be dancing and yet not be praising that acknowledgement is the praise factor if in your dance and in your praise because there are many let me not even go there praise the name of the Lord let's just continue where let's finish in peace tonight but I can assure you that there are many things that do not carry power because acknowledgement is not in it I can dance for a show and as powerful as that is I am not praising God there, your acknowledgement you know what it means to acknowledge to acknowledge means to insist that the person you are acknowledging perceives that you recognize his contribution in your life so what most people call praise beyond the talking drums beyond the instruments beyond the nice melodies praise is from a point of acknowledgement god you did this for me look what my life has become where was i when you took me oh god and that will sponsor your dancing that will sponsor your singing are we together now that will sponsor your rolling on the ground it is not the activity that makes it praise the bible says in proverbs chapter 3 and verse 5 it says trust in the lord with all thy heart are we still here it says and lean not unto your own understanding the next verse says in all your ways acknowledge him you can replace that word with praise him to praise means to acknowledge I don't know if I've done it in this church but say I want to introduce someone here let's say a gentleman here and let's say someone who has achieved so much when you acknowledge people you don't say how are you that's not how to acknowledge usually when you get an intelligent MC who wants to introduce someone they will start something like in 1998 he won a prestigious award of this and that am I right on that they now begin to flaunt his credentials and at the end of it they say ladies and gentlemen we are moving no further until we acknowledge this that is what it means to praise God you cannot praise God without talking about what he has done that you mention the name of your children by name don't say there are too many if there were not too many to be helped by God they shouldn't be too many to be mentioned Lord I thank you look what you did in January I didn't even know I would survive it one month ago I was in the hospital I watched people die but look you kept me now you are praising him I'm showing you how to call upon God and he says you did this for me and you are acknowledging me and then when you are not ashamed to do it before men Come and see a man who told me everything I have done. And they said, you are a prostitute. He said, forget the issue of prostitution. Come, come. And the people said, this is compelling. Do you know, there are many people's salvation that is tied in your testimony and your praise. You need to be able to acknowledge God so loud that someone asks you, what is the joy for? And then you tell him, my testimony is not a manifestation of pride I am just too grateful to be silent too grateful to be silent two of my children graduated with first class my husband just won a contract 
I just had an encounter with Jesus. Five unbelievers in my family gave their lives to Christ. How do you keep quiet like that? You see, the high point in a testimony is what Jesus did. Let me give you a clue. If you are summarizing, if you don't have time and people are testifying, don't just tell them summarize. No, there is a part of the testimony that glorifies God. If that part is missing, it was just discussion or a flaunting of pride. Be lifted high. Be lifted high, oh Lord. Be lifted high, for You are holy, righteous and worthy, oh Lord. Be lifted high. Before we pray. My dear people, I want you to sing me a song. Aribiti, Arabata. Go ahead. Aribiti, Arabata. Aribiti, Arabata. Lift your hands, lift your voices in one minute and bless him. son schooling abroad what is there in my son graduating what is there in my husband being a nice man what is there in my wife being a godly woman what is there in all my five children loving the Lord when we begin to the Bible says bless the Lord oh my soul please help me he said and forget not forget not Force your memory to remember. Lord, you took me from nothing. I came to Lagos with no help. Look what your mercy has done in my life. Go ahead. In one minute. Just find a way of blessing him. In my life. Be glorified, be glorified in my life. Be glorified, be glorified. You get the glory, you get the praise, you take the honor. I just want to say thank you. You get the glory. You get the praise. You take the honor. I just want to say thank you. So we. listen to me listen to me everyone please let me have your attention how many of you have found yourself drawn to grateful people that you give someone five thousand and for one week the person is still sending a text mommy just to say you say it's too much you even feel embarrassed do you know it's as if you owe them their gratitude does something to you but there are people that you can help 
and after two weeks they send you a text and say sorry i forgot just to say thanks most likely they have closed that door by themselves in my work with god there is nothing too small he heals a headache i roll before him lord thank you nobody has the power to add one cubit to a man's hair hallelujah can i tell you men who know how to pray and know how to praise are the ones who do not just experience the wonder of god they become signs and wonders themselves and i want you to believe me i know what i'm saying there is no limit to a man who knows how to pray and knows how to praise i told you praise is beyond dancing no praise is beyond singing the acknowledgement factor must be there mention the thing he said count your blessings the hymn writer says he said name them how many one by one the only way you will be surprised is when you name them one by one one by one you have the grace start from january lord look what you did february they downsized everybody but while they were going down i was rising like the ark of noah round to mount ararat how can i dare claim the bible says accept the lord my bible says accept the lord builds a house they labor in vain that build it except the lord watches over a city he said the watchman watched but in vain ladies and gentlemen it is vain to wake up early and to sleep late at night only to eat the bread of sorrow sometimes i really wish i'm yoruba so that there are songs that are fired in my spirit but i'm limited my understanding is not fruitful the heavens declare your power and royalty. Help me. Lord, you reign. You are the ancient of days. Lord, you reign. Your glory is established in justice and righteousness. Lord, you reign. Great are you, Lord. A part to this song we are still singing we are not done not for what God has done in your life ladies and gentlemen hear me I've shown you a mysterious secret tonight some of you this is how you started with God and you found out you were rising but I hope you did not become too big to roll on the ground I hope you did not become too big that the designer clothes can no longer touch you. Listen, let me tell you sincerely, anybody who is too big to pray and too big to praise, you will never see the mighty hand of God. You, you don't have to roll, but I am just telling you these are the secrets. They are the mysteries in the kingdom. In the next five minutes, you can find a comfortable key, my apologies. Don't mind me if you depend on me i'll keep going up and down but in the next five minutes i'd like you to cry before god in gratitude lord i thank you lord i thank you lord i thank you lord i thank you king of kings lord of lords king of kings lord of lords king of kings lord of lords Let's 
One more minute. Mention the names of your children one by one. Lord, see what you've done in their lives. Mention the name of your husband, your wife, your relatives. Mention the name of your company. Cry to the God of heaven in gratitude. Faithful God, mighty God, faithful God, mighty God. I acknowledge that this is your hand. I acknowledge that this is your finger. One more minute I leave you with your maker one more minute I leave you with the one who cried when men failed you the one who showed up for you sickness would have destroyed your destiny I leave you with the one who preserved your life I leave you with the one who protected your company and your business from loss and failure many are dead that rise up against me many are there which say where is my help but thou, O oh Lord, art a shield for me, my glory, and the lifter up of my head. I lay me down, and I slept. He said, I wake, for the Lord sustain me.